I want to maintain that negative pressure in this chest cavity. So when, the, when I breathe, when you breathe, everything is intact here. So I take a breath in, my diaphragm moves down, my lungs expand, my muscles expand everything, and it creates a negative pressure in your torso, in your chest cavity, which allows air to come in from high pressure to negative pressure. As soon as there's an insult, a hole, um, a debris, something that caused a hole in this cavity, front, sides, or back, and there's a hole in access to air, there's no longer negative pressure in this box, in this cavity. And again, we're calling it belly button to your neck, front sides or back. So I want to be able to allow for normal ventilations to take place. The way I do that is I'm putting this chest seal. This is a chest seal that has three valves in it. And what it does is, as I place it over the hole, I go ahead and peel this back. And I take the center of it and go right over the hole. I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's nice and flat. And as you can see, if this mannequin or a person was to breathe in, this chest seal will suck onto that wound, not allow air to come in, allow for that negative pressure to take place. When they breathe out, there is an option for the air to come out these channels for the built up air that's in this cavity. And again, we're going from where? The belly button to the neck, front, sides, and back. So we want to seal all the holes.